are going to work on an exercise that will eventually become come and sit directly in front of me. Um, as with any of the exercises, when you start off working with your pup, I want you to go ahead and capture some good things. This will help get your dog's attention. And so without their attention, it's really hard to teach them a new exercise, and it's really hard to pair the word because you don't have their attention, so you just end up saying, sit, 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 and nothing happens. So when you start off a training session, you need your clicker and leash in one hand, your treats, your dog. You want to have treats that are high enough value to work in the environment that you're working in. If you do start outside this week because that's what the weather says you can do and that's how beautiful it is, Make sure that you're not using your dog kibble. Find something a little bit more exciting. The first four things that you can reward your dog for is lemon's quiet, her leash is loose, her forefeet are on the ground, and she's orienting towards me. Good job. So my rate of reinforcement is pretty high, gets her attention, keeps her with me, and I know I have a dog I can work with. So let's start working on the exercise. When she's paying attention to me, and by the way, notice I never called her name. I'm just rewarding good behavior, which gets her attention and keeps her brain primed. She's like, oh, something good's happening. I should pay attention to mom or dad. That's awesome. Then you're gonna go backwards three steps. One, two, three. The moment they start moving towards you, you're clicking again. You reward there. And then I want y'all to lure your pup into the sit. You can use a hand signal, or you can use a treat in front of their nose. Yes, and you click and treat again. And I want you guys to start all over again. This time we're going to kind of move back towards the camera. But I'm like, okay, let me make sure I have your attention. And I'm getting your attention instead of calling your name and telling you to watch me or look at me or do anything else. I'm rewarding things that I like, keeping that brain in a good mode. So this time I'm going to run one, two, three steps backwards towards the camera. Lemon moved right with me. I clicked the mark the time she moved with me and rewarded that, and I'm also gonna lure her up and do a sit and get that. So, start off with a little attention getting. I like that your leash is loose. You're so quiet. Your feet are on the ground. Never calling her name, because she doesn't know that her name means watch me. I'm not asking her to do anything. One, two, three, she moves with me. I'm marking that moment. She gets another treat, lure into the sit. Yes. Weeks three and four, we'll start adding names to the behavior. Done. But I want to make sure that we have the behavior first. When you're done with every exercise, if you do every exercise four or five times, give them a break, but very clearly tell them done. Lemon's giving herself a, a bird's eye view of the camera. And uh, make sure you tell them done. You can pet them up, you can love on them, you can play with them for a sec. But make sure you let them know right now we're done with training. You can go sniff something. You can go walk around. You have a little bit of freedom to go do something that you want. We're going to talk more in week two about what to do when dogs blow you off. So right now I'm going to try to set you up for success and be like when you're done with a series of exercises, just be like done. Give them a break. Start the next round of um, the next round.